Hey everyone, welcome back to another online lift uh, for science this week. We're going to talk about rocket science and orbital mechanics, so that's going to be really fun. Uh, we're going to be using a, a simulation uh, software called Kerbal Space Program, which I encourage you parents to look at. It's really uh, um, really educational and entertaining at the same time. Uh, this week's lesson is about Easter, which is the time after Jesus was crucified and days later um, he was he raised from the dead and they found the tomb empty. And then later on he appears to the, to the disciples and tells them that he's died and he's risen and he's going to ascend into heaven. Um, and he's done all of this for our salvation uh, to fulfill the, the, the gospel. Um, and that path of his ministry and then um, his sacrifice is is so strange um, to us because we wouldn't have done it that way. You know, it it, it seems roundabout. It seems like um, he went through a lot of trouble to to do this. Um, but it was it's it's the right way to do it. And again, he understands that because uh, because God knows. Um, what the best path is. He understands how things work better than we do. Uh, and there's a lot of times in our lives where what we think is best isn't always what's best. And, and sometimes we're in a situation that we think is hard, um, that we we wish that we didn't have to go through. Uh, you know, this, this uh, pandemic is one perfect example for that. But the truth is God knows everything. He, he has it all in his hands. He, he has the best plan for us. Um, and we just don't always see that. And science is really interesting because there's so many times in nature um, that he illustrates that same point where we would think that something would work in one way, um, and it's it's not at all the way that he designed it. Uh, orbital mechanics is is a perfect example of that. In our everyday lives, we never experience something like orbital mechanics. Um, but when you get out into space, it happens all the time. It's 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 part of normal everyday experience. Um, if you are an object that's that's just spinning around in space, so we're going to see that today. Where um, you know this is a great example of how the way that God does things and the way that um, He has everything set up and the way that He's worked throughout history uh, is is very different. But it's because he has a different perspective from us. Um, we might not understand it, but it's just because we're not taking the larger view that God has. Um, and if we were able to do that, we would perfectly understand that his plans are perfect um, and, and the way that he has orchestrated our salvation uh, and the plan that he has for our lives is always perfect. So let's get to it. Welcome everyone to uh, Kerbal Space Center where we're going to spend some time learning about rocket science um, and how this crazy universe is uh, and how God made um, the rules that govern our universe so uh, not intuitive sometimes, but it, it perfectly illustrates um, some of the ways that he interacts with us as a people um, in ways that we wouldn't expect, but that make total sense when um, you have his perspective. And we're going to see something that happens all the time in space um, and, and is very normal um, in the universe, but we never experience it here on Earth because we're, you know, our perspective is so different than it is out there. Uh, so to get started, let's launch our rocket here. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to blast off and we're going to go straight up into the air. Um, and our, you know, if, if you know how satellites work, um, they spin around the Earth, and they never fall down. They just keep spinning and spinning and spinning. And we're going to try to to do that. That's called orbiting. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is, you know, you would say if you want to go higher in a rocket ship, you want to go up. So you you blast off and you go straight up. And you know, from our thinking, that's the right way to do it. But we're going to see here that that's not always the case. So our rocket ship is going straight up into the air. And we're going to take a little different look at it. We're going to look at the path that our rocket is taking. We can see how it goes way up here. And then it gets this high. But then what happens? It falls back down. It just goes straight back down. So yes, you know, shooting straight up in our rocket ship, we are going to go away from the Earth and we're going to go up. But we're always going to end up going back down. And that's because we're not achieving orbit. We're not... Um, we're not gaining enough velocity to be able to spin around the Earth. And we can show 
how it is that in real spacecraft, and not only in spacecraft, but in objects in um, that are just in natural orbits, like the moon is spinning around the Earth, um, in the same way we want our, our rocket ship to spin around the Earth. So what we're going to do is we're going to let our rocket ship get a little higher, and we'll look at this view here. So we're just we're still going up, and we're about a hundred kilometers up right now, um, and we're going to let it let him get up to the top here, to the very peak. And when he does get there, instead of instead of um, going up, because if we just go up, it'll just go it'll go further up, but then it eventually again will get to the peak, and it'll just come back down. But instead of doing that, if we um, if we point our spacecraft to the side and we fire the engines look what's going to happen it's a very interesting um effect you see how our our path gets longer the the time to fall down is is longer so it's the same thing if you throw a ball um the faster you throw the ball the longer it'll take for that ball to eventually hit the ground it'll be able to fly further. So if you throw a ball, you're going to be able to make it go for a while and then it'll fall down. But if you um, shoot a cannon, it'll go much further before the cannonball hits the ground. And it's the same principle here, where we want our spaceship um, to go much, much further before it, it comes back down and hits, hits the ground. So what we're going to do, let me switch this and we'll just point our spacecraft directly to the side. And we'll we'll launch our in, or we'll fire our engines. Look what happens. It's really interesting. So now it's going to take much longer for us to hit the ground, but eventually it'll take so long to hit the ground that our path is going to wrap around the planet. Look at this. And that right there is called um, it's called uh, orbiting. So if you can achieve enough velocity just like firing a cannon around an object in space you will end up just spinning around that object and you'll never fall back down to that object unless something slows you down and here's a here's a really interesting um thing to, to see we would think from this point if i want to go higher i just shoot up but actually in orbital mechanics you don't have to do that all you have to do is go faster so here again we're still pointing sideways and we're we're pointing towards the direction that we're, we're traveling and if i were to um, fire the engines again you can see that my orbit gets bigger and bigger and bigger because the faster you're traveling the the higher your orbit is going to be on the other side of the object now in the same way if I slow down, so now I'm pointing the opposite direction from the from where I'm I'm um, traveling. Now, if I were to fire my engines here, you can see the orbit decays, and you can slow it down enough that eventually you're going to hit the Earth again. And this is this is orbital mechanics. This is how um, you go higher and lower in orbits around around a planet. And the same is true for everything in space. So the moon has an orbit around the Earth. If for some reason, if you put a bunch of rockets on the moon and you blasted them one direction or the other to slow it down or speed it up, the moon would actually get closer or farther, further away from the Earth. So that's, it's amazing. It's, it's not intuitive, but it shows you that the rules that uh, God used to set up the universe don't always make sense from our perspective. Um, a lot of times, you have to you have to think outside of your own experience to understand um, why things work the way that they do, um, and you know that's that's one of the amazing things about science is it, it teaches us lessons like this. All right, thanks everyone for joining, and I'll see you guys next week.